What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to attempt to determine if Marvel Mystery Oil can quiet lifter noise in the top of the engine. Before we get started, I want to make it clear that this is in no way sponsored. Every single product that you see in this video is something that I purchased with my own free will, with my own money, because I liked it or I wanted to try it. This engine in my vehicle definitely has a tick, and I've heard a lot of people say that Marvel Mystery Oil makes the noise go away. I purchased this a few months ago to try it, but haven't tried it yet. Personally, I'm hesitant to put anything in my crankcase that isn't API approved. However, today we're going to give it a try. On the bottle, it says it does a lot of great things. Primarily, improves compression, power, and miles per gallon. Lubricates upper cylinder for smoother idling. Keeps engine clean from sludge. There's some other things here listed as well. But we're going after this one. Lubricates upper cylinder for smoother idling. That would be quieting, ticking lifters. So, if we look at the directions on the back, for oil, replace up to 20% of oil with Marvel Mystery Oil. So for a 5 quart system, 1 quart will be Marvel Mystery Oil. So what we're going to do is take the Jeep for a ride, get the engine warmed up, and then use a decibel meter to measure the engine sound. Then we'll drain a quart of oil, add the Marvel Mystery Oil, put some miles on, and measure the sound again. Then we'll see if there's any difference. So, let's get started. I'm going to take it for a drive and get the engine up to operating temperature. Okay, we are back, and the engine is up to operating temperature. Let's get that decibel meter and measure the sound. Sound level is pretty consistent between 77 and 79 decibels. Okay, so we got a sound reading with the engine at idle at operating temperature. Now let's drain a quart of oil. Then we'll add the Marvel Mystery Oil. I've got these Fumoto oil change valves on all of my vehicles. They're pretty sweet. You just pull the safety clip, flip the lever, and the oil comes out. Then when you're done, you flip it shut and put the clip back on. It makes oil changes toolless. They're so nice. I recommend them. I'll do some oil change videos in the future. And always be sure to properly dispose of the oil. I'll be returning this to my local auto parts store to properly recycle it. Now that there's room in the crankcase, let's add a quart of Marvel Mystery Oil. It's really thin. It's like pouring water. Let's button it back up and try this stuff out. All set. Time to fire it up and go put some miles on this engine. I've got my awesome skull shifters here, and the four wheel drive shifter is pointing out to the passenger side. So when someone pulls up next to me, they'll see a skull looking at them.
I've got some miles put on and the engine temperature is nice and warm. Get the sound meter back out and place it in the same position as last time. Looking at the readings, there's no noticeable difference. It's still hanging between 77 and 79 decibels. So, with the testing complete, it's time for some results and conclusions. When running the engine at operating temperature, at idle, before the Marvel Mystery Oil, the sound meter recorded the range of 77 to 79 decibels. After replacing one quart of oil with one quart of Marvel Mystery Oil, the sound still measured the same, between 77 and 79 decibels. So there was no change there. When carefully comparing the footage between the engine running without and with Marvel Mystery Oil, I could hear a ticking sound without the Marvel Mystery Oil, and the ticking was not present with the Marvel Mystery Oil. Without any hard numbers to back up any changes, I think the results are subjective. Before the Marvel Mystery Oil, I definitely had a tick in the engine. It would come and go. Sometimes I thought it sounded really bad which is why I researched and purchased the Marvel Mystery Oil a few months ago. But sometimes it was not bad at all, and I would think, I don't need to put that stuff in my engine. After adding the Marvel Mystery Oil, I've driven it around quite a bit. Sometimes I think there is no change, and other times I think, maybe it does sound better. To sum everything up, in my experience, it may have helped a little. I don't really have any conclusive information, to say one way or another. I performed a test and these are my results. I would recommend trying it for yourself and drawing your own conclusions. Maybe you will experience a noticeable difference if you have significant lifter tick. Maybe it'll help. I have had a lot of people swear by it, which is why I tried it. Rob from Illinois says five stars, best money I've ever spent. It says so right on the front of the bottle. As usual, thanks for watching the video. Please give it a like and subscribe, and leave any comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Vroom, vroom, pulling up to a stoplight next to this Jeep. Oh, what's over there? What is that? Oh, it's looking at me. Oh, it's a skull. No, whoa, whoa, a skull, whoa.